In this video, you'll learn how to transform your desktop to make it look cool and clean. So let's get started. Alright, so before we start, I do want to let you know that all the links mentioned in this video will be down there in the description down below. So, for today's transformation, we're going to be going for a Spider-Man theme. So, go ahead and open up RaidMeter.net and once you're in the website, go ahead and download the installer. Once the installer has been downloaded, go ahead and fire it up and you can just go ahead and install RaidMeter by following the instructions on screen. Once you're done setting up Rain Meter, go ahead and hit finish. Now here as you can see we have these 4 default Rain Meter skins which you can just right click on them and then hit unload skin. Let me just do them for each of these. Once you've installed Rain Meter, right click on your desktop, hover over view and then uncheck the box that says show desktop icons. Now to access all the desktop icons once again, you can open up file explorer, hit desktop and all the shortcuts and files that were on your desktop are right now showing right here. It's just that it's hidden on your real desktop. Now open up the second link that's in the description, the link that will open up deviantart.com where you'll find this Raid Meter skin that we're going to be using. Before you download, make sure you've created a DeviantArt account so that you'll be able to download the skin. Go ahead and hit the download button and then once it's downloaded, go ahead and launch it. Now we here, hit install. Now click on the second link that will open up this Raid Meter skin right here. That's going to show you the weather. Once again, go ahead and download that skin as well. And then once again, go ahead and fire up the installer. Once you've installed both the skins, go ahead and minimize. You now here as you can see the weather widget is automatically loaded onto my desktop. You can just adjust it and place it anywhere you want. And then you can just go ahead and right click on it, hover over settings. And uncheck the box that's just draggable so, you, so that it locks into place. Now open up File Explorer and then open up Documents and then open up Rain Meter, Skins and then open up the Spider-Man Suit folder, Wallpaper. You now here as you can see we have the Spider-Man Wallpaper right here. Just right click on it and then click on Set as Desktop Background. This will change your desktop background. Now open up the System Tray and click on Rain Meter. Now over here expand this folder, expand music player, select the player and then click on load. Over here as you can see we have the music player right here, just keep it any way you want. We're gonna come back to that later. Expand the folder that says system, expand CPU, select the INI file and then click on load. Do the same with all of these files over here. Now expand the folder that says time and load the time skin. Finally you can just minimize the window. Now here as you can see we have all the skins right here, all of them unorganized on my desktop. So let me just show you how to organize them. First of all drag this date and time widget right here and just place it right here. Drag the CPU widget and place it over here. And then drag the GPU skin, place it right there. Do the same with the RAM but place it over here. Now drag the C drive skin and place it right under the RAM skin. And then place the other two drives under GPU and CPU. As you can see, it looks a lot better now. You can place this music player anywhere you want over here or over here. I think it looks pretty cool over here. Again, open up Raid Meter. Expand the folder that says Spider-Man. Expand the settings folder. Select settings.ini and then click on load. Over here, under choose the media player. Select Windows Media Player. You can even choose YouTube, Spotify iTunes or any other media player. I'm just going to choose Windows Media Player. Let me just X out of this. One final thing you can do is you can just make this taskbar pop up and now you hover your cursor over it so that your desktop looks a lot better. Right click on your taskbar, click on taskbar settings and toggle the second option that says automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode. And now if I close this window and if you just wait for a few seconds, you can see my taskbar just drops down. And if I hover my cursor over it, here as you can see my taskbar pops up, which is pretty cool. And yeah guys, that's the end of this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.